Rian De Oro. Welcome to Overtime and uh, medyo heavy among discussion karon. But let me welcome first attorney Oscar Oka Moreno, sir. Salamat, Sel. Salamat. Maying hapon dia and uh, good afternoon everyone. Maying hapon sa tanan and welcome sa lain pod nga episode sa Overtime. And uh, of course, uh, uh to Overtime is Mondays to Fridays from about 1:30 for in the afternoon for about an hour and uh, in most cases uh, subject to overtime <laughs> and uh, uh ang atong episode karon is uh, wow quanta cell no uh, we uh, dagan ang atong tuyo number one, of course is we honor uh anang mga kagayanon who excel no mm -hmm. Uh, including mga students, mga professionals, and uh, kini siya, kaan, nag-excel uh, sa board exams, no? Yeah. And uh, produktong kagayan. Produktong kagayan. So, we hope uh, we can give inspiration sa mga batat on the na they too can excel and uh, place uh, among the top uh, in the board or bar exams, no? Another is uh, atong explore ang iyang world, uh, iyang world which is a specialized field of engineering, uh, and uh, looks promising, Sel. Uh, and uh, uh, but before before you introduce our guest, ako sa igrit si Aikroa, happy birthday, uh, 64th uh, birthday or uh, possibly dili uh, much younger siguro than that but uh, happy birthday I so Sel please please do the honor of introducing our special guest Salamat attorney and uh, ang atong special guest uh, bright kayo so ato ning uh, ato siyang ilailahon he actually graduated in elementary sa Indahag Elementary School where he graduated top three in the class and uh, also graduated class valedictorian in his high school also at Indahag National High School and uh, he took up Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering at Xavier University Ateneo de Cagayan where he graduated magna cum laude and uh, he is a university scholar and DOST and field dev scholar and um, he worked as an intern at the DOST Region 10 and uh, the ang iya mga awards uh, December 2023 20, chemical technician licensure exam top notcher third place and recognized by the Philippine Regulation Commission and in October 2023 20, he, um, he he said chemical engineering licensure exam top notcher where he landed seventh place and he also was awarded by Xavier University second runner up under the energies research category for the XU Thesis Display and Presentation 2023 and also represented Xavier University and ranked second runner-up at the UP Interview 2022 Chemical Engineering Quiz Bowl in March 2023. And uh, he also again represented Xavier University and ranked top 12 at the UP Interview 2021 Chemical Engineering Quiz Bowl. So, siya gin ang ginapadala, no? Perminti. And uh, he also represented Xavier University and ranked first place for the provincial and second place for the regional categories at the Philippine Statistics Quiz Bowl in November 2019. Ayan. So later on, let's talk about his uh, design projects. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome Engineer RJE e. Nambatak. RJE e. Nambatak, Igagamao Nambatak. Welcome to Overtime, RJ. Uh, good afternoon, Ma'am Cell Attorney Oscar Moreno. Yeah. And to all the viewers and listeners of Overtime with Attorney Oka Moreno, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. RJ, if I may call you RJ, salamat kaya ha, for accepting our invitation. And Kwanis uh, uh, Yasel, no? uh, uh, fresh pagyod from college, fresh from the exam, so Kwan uh, Kayo, no? Uh, uh, I understand that there are many offers to Luzon, but uh, your preference is also in this ato. Uh, is that true, RJ? Yeah, for now, sir, I'm more open and more preferred to work here 
uh, for the sake of industry experience. But maybe years from now, I'd like to explore uh, uh -huh. outside this area, outside Misamis Oriental. Ako siyang gignan, may ka ng iyang abilidad. Sel, ako ang kini, itong estudyante pa ko ni Anto Sel, ang akong impression, ang engineering is heavy sa mathematics. Pero ang pinakalisod na engineering course ni Anto was, sa akong pagtuo, chemical engineering. I don't know if that is still true now, RJ. The question is, is chemical engineering the hardest of all the engineering courses? I don't want to claim the hardest, but I would say that it's one of the hardest because we deal a lot with, unlike other engineering field, probably they just deal with physics and the mathematics side of engineering. But in chemical engineering, it's more than that. We involve chemistry, mathematics, engineering, economics, and all that discipline that take up ay nag buo aning chemical engineering as a discipline. Yeah, doon ako ikaw niya. Doon ako niya. Mga 60s niya to sell dito sa Manila. Nay akong kababaya sa boarding house taga Balinga Sag to sell. Iskwila o chemical engineering sa FEU niya to. Late 60s, no? Pero grabe yun yung study. Sunod, kung ano pag ito siya. Niya to, na ito sila ay ang chemical engineering exam niya to na ay removal, RJ. Niya to. Okay, lisod lagi ka isil na i-subject one or two nga. Chances are mag-remove ka gyan. In other words, you'll be given, you're given another chance to take it. Kay lagi acknowledge nga lisod. Tinood ba na RJ? Yes, sir. Statistically speaking, sa among experience sa XU, we started like 57 students initially from freshmen and fortunately like the regular graduates na the graduate until our batch na mo was like only 13 from our batch so really lot of students have 13 from 50 yes yes po wow and why chemical engineering you could have kay mayo kasama I take it math ang imong heavy or chemistry or Physics, pero why chemical engineering? It's more like an influence, yeah. Because yeah, I would I would admit nga my top courses get back then was mathematics or statistics, and top three lang na ako nga preferred ang chemical engineering. So basically, I joined this DUST qualification exam at XU. There I happened to meet tutors who happened to be chemical engineering students. Besides reviewing, they have promoted chemical engineering. Uh, program to us, senior high school, and that moment sparked something in me. Uh, this may be the sign that I'm waiting for to take up engineering. Yeah. Kasi in our family line, most of us are like educators, and probably if I if I proceeded with mathematics, I probably end up being an instructor or yeah. into research thing. And Murag, it's a breaking the cycle sa among family yeah. to become the first engineer. So I really take that part, and yeah, basing on that. Uh, which particular engineering field I would pursue. Moto, I, I did my personal research on what this chemical engineering is all about, and I really find it interesting because as someone yeah, who is a big fan of mga coffee, mga daily day-to-day -day products, I'm really curious on how these products are being made. And this one, very uh, uh, this one is uh, part of the job of a chemical engineer to produce products nga useful sa tong daily lives. Mm -hmm. Lahi sa itong kuansela, lahi sa itong Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Lahi sa na siya, pero four-year course ga po na siya, RJ, no? What's the difference between chemical engineering and Bachelor of Science in Chemistry? Yeah. In the work setting, the BS or the chemistry or the chemists themselves are more into the laboratory again, like performing experiments, conducting tests, parang ganon. But chemical engineering is more on, like, very flexible, very, um, yeah, it can, they can work all around the plant, the manufacturing plant, nga, basically dealing with designing processes, improving and controlling processes, mm. and, yeah, quality control, ganon. Do, like, very, ano, ang chem compared to chemistry. Yeah, yeah. 
Si kwa sila, mas all around sila. Mas adaptable. So kung naa kay mga estudyante who'd like to take up these courses, what would you uh, recommend? BS Chem or Chem Ed? Yeah, uh, common thing, uh, if you have, like, if you are strong in math or if you have passion for chemistry and mathematics, I would really recommend to these students nga undecided ka ron, to take up chemical engineering over chemistry kasi <coughs> it's like hitting two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. like, oh, like you can really utilize your skills and talents and knowledge into these yeah. topics. Apply it in real life applications. Uh -oh. Ang BS chemistry wala yung board, no? Na, sir. Ana, ana. Ni Anto wala man na yung board na karoon na ano di ay. So, chemistry, uh, pero, licensure pero ang, exam. Pero ang mga chemists, tuwa sila sa mga laboratories, Giyon. Yeah. Pero balita ko, lison siya kuno ang chemistry. Yes, sir. Na, Anything near chemistry is lison. Nay, akong classmate, <laughs> chemistry, mga, mga bright gito sila. Uh -huh. no. Kanang maayo ang inyong chemistry, unsa pod na char. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ebitaw, yeah. Uh, Human chemistry uh, naman na. Oh, uh, uy, ma-define na ni uh, RJ, ma-define na uh, ni RJ. Di ay? Oo. Oh. <laughs> 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 Pero uh, ako advice sa iya ganina, kay mo lagi, uh, ang iya ang preference is din eh. Uh, okay man na, pero inay offer sa iya sa Luzon. Pero di siya ganahan, kaya gusto niya din eh. Pero ako lang isa siyang giingdan nga, nasigig ko lang. Uh, kabalaka lang siya kay Israel niyo siya dito, pero uh, matter of adjustment naman na. Pero dito sa, sa labi ng mga dagko ng mga kumpanya, Sel, uh, dagko sa ang iyang room for improvement. Yeah. So na ay mga training courses, uh, labi na o uh, na ang mga after 3-5 years makita magigit ang talent ni RJ ana. he'll be uh, earmarked na for uh, kanang mga uh, training courses for uh, middle managers na dayon na, na magyapon na mga, uh, ano, mga tra uh, training programs so kung giyod uh, did you did you have a feeling before you took the board exam na magtap ka? <laughs> or murag tanaw ni mo? Eh, siyempre, estudyante pa sila, Sel. Sigurado mo na tanaw na nila mga board questions, di ba? Kay usahay uh, sa exam, midterm or finals, na ay mga teachers nga gamiton ang board exam para uh, mapil sa mga bata what it is. Uh, to be uh, in that uh, particular yeah, na, no, period. Uh, so, you've gone through uh, mga questions nga gipangutan na sa board exams before, no? So, kaya magkaha? Uh, yeah, uh, honestly speaking, I really did not uh, expected na, or I didn't really expect nga to become part of the top 10. Uh -huh. My top goal in taking the board exam is just to take it once. I'm not going to retake uh -huh. it again. Like, we're going to have top priority among all. And yeah, perhaps be, uh, it's all because of my hard work and persistence in reviewing yeah. and being a goal-oriented person that led me to earn these achievements. Yeah, yeah. Did you not review Kagayan, RJ, or uh, you went to Cebu? Unfortunately, for chemical engineering, uh, Cebu and Manila and Baguio were the location side review center. Oh. No review center yet here in Cagayan. But I chose to review in Manila. Pilaka uh, months? Three, four months? or yeah, uh, It was four months from June 2023 to October 2023. Oh. Four months. And then board exam na dayon? Board exam na dayon. Oh. Pila mo sa imong bats, Dinisa Xavier, ang nag dito sa Manila nag-review? Actually, doha lang eh, sir. <laughs> uh, like, 28 takers me lahat for Chem Eng sa XU. Then, only two of us there to review in Manila and the rest of like, I think the 26 reviewed in Cebu. Yeah, pero ang savior, kung si Arcel, ha? Dila, ilang ranking. One of the yes. uh, recognized uh, schools sa engineering 
uh, with uh, Seven. Uh, ten uh, highest places, ten highest places, sell, no? Uh, ano no, morning top not sirs. Morning top not sirs. Do na hila input nga kuan nga itong mga eskwelahan. More examinees in release. Uh, Lagi yung mga eskwelahan. Kuan eh. Xavier University number seven. Yeah. Uh, with ten or more examinees, and with at least 80% passing, passing percentage, no? 81.14. least 80% passing. So, uh, uh, UP, Diliman, Los Baños, San Carlos, BSU, Pamantasan de Luzon de Manila, MSU, IIT, Ateneo de Davao, and then Xavier University. Uh, Ahead pa ganyan mo sa USD. Wala mo din yung USD. Yes, sir. So, no, uwa ang mga eskalahan. Adopson is number eight, no? Sila 27 ang takers, 22 passed, or a percentage of 81.48%. Taas. Galing. Galing. And so, pila mo ang nag, ikaw na nag-top sa mga... Uh, chemical engineering from yeah. Xavier. Yes, sir. Uh, and I know someone then, some batch nga almost he he got almost near to the top ten. Sayang. Sayang lang, no. Uh, so no, na pa isa ni mo ka nagtap sa siya sell yeah. sa sa to uh, kay katong una chemical engineering yes, sir. and then a few months after Pwede. chemical technician. technician. Oh, what's the difference between uh, chemical engineering and chemical technician? Uh, yeah. For again, uh, I've, I've I applied for chemical technician uh, due to the reason that if there are possible laboratory opportunities, work opportunities, maybe be it in plant, sa university and all the oh. laboratories, I can work there. So the main difference again, yung sa ano, uh, the chemical technician is solely into the laboratory performing tests doing experiments conducting experiments and more like assisting lang sila sa mga chemists and chemical engineers chemical engineers is quite all around they can work uh, all around the plant um, but mostly on designing improving controlling optimizing process sa planta nga 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 mga functions the overall structure sa plant uh, Chemical engineers can work on that, while the chemical technicians are solely for laboratory functions only. Ang, ang, yeah. Yeah. ang chemical technician is a uh, four-year course gihapon siya. Uh, hindi ma'am. Bale, anyone is allowed to take chemical technician licensure examination as long as like they have at least 18, I'm not sure if 18 or 20 units uh, nga chemistry in their TO, TOR, in their subject list. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tabang-tabang siya dito sa yes. chemist. No? Yes, Ang mahimong chemist, katong nag-BS Chem. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Pero dili tanan chemical engineers qualified na mahimong chemical technician. Yes, Pwede. sir. Ah, dili, pwede. Dili. Okay. Ah, Mag-exam gihapon pa. Na, na, na yung licensure gihapon. Sunod. Ang licensure, kinahanglan na kay number of units yeah. sa chemistry. Uy, kwarbiya ng chemistry. Interesting na ka subject? Yes. Oo. Interesting na siya. Tsaka yung ipang kwarbiya dito. So, ganado ka sa laboratory sa chemistry. Enjoy ka niya. Yes, sir. But, out of all the engineering, we are the only engineering na laboratory, di ba? Yeah, chemical laboratory, specifically. Yeah. Daragin mo yung murong second home. Okay. Na ay iyahang design projects or game oh. this is very interesting kay murag maglisod kog basa sa uban nga mga words man so anyway uh, you had this fatty acid methyl ester production via heterogeneous catalyzed transis transesterification of coconut oil and methanol ano raw ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so, so can you explain that in simple language yeah oh. uh. <laughs> It's actually our design project. Uh, kining design project is a final requirement sa among program. Basically, we design 
a hypothetical plant uh-huh. nga murag we are designing this process nga from the raw material itself the the coconut oil then we're going to transform that into a useful product that is useful to our in our society para ganun so we've designed this plant nga ano uh, yeah that's one uh, the our raw material here is basically the coconut oil coming from coconut tree or uh, coconut ano and basically we transform this product through a series of reaction and all that to become a biodiesel product a biodiesel product is ano siya additive siya sa ato ang gasoline ron mga petroleum uh-huh. in order to improve its characteristics and basically to reduce the effects of or negative effects of continuously using non-renewable energy resources nga gikan sa mga natural natural gases fossil fuels ganun because they are usually the raw material that we use para mga produce atong mga petrol diesel right now but our uh, innovations came in nga we can use this biodiesel plant as an additive basically that reduces the the need for this petrol chemical for this petrol diesel nga gakuha nato from the fossil fuel and it has lots of improved characteristics in terms of kanang gagamiton na siya for for mga sakyanan you know, engines mm-hmm. yeah uh lagi kadagan kayo na dumduman ko lang because early on in uh, uh, there is over time we had our guest sir from if i'm not mistaken from the philippine nuclear research institute oh, oh. and uh, kanay mong mga gisgutan kay murag uh, it seems na suwak siya didto nga environment kay yeah. sila didto sa i think sa DOST maghapon sila no and right. DOST ba to yeah DOST kay kulang ang Pilipinas hmm. sa mga uh, technical people like you are no so i i don't know if you'd like to consider dito sa national kay murag gamay ra sila sa daghan ilahang ga istudyohan gamay ra sila nga naay uh, competency such as yours ni aun man siya sa iyang di sa ganahan at luson lagi ya lagi na pero ang iyang mama is igagamaw mm-hmm. ang mga igagamaw are from salay and kamigin di ba so oh, pero wala ka na makadto salay RJ nakalabay lang sa nakalabay ang claveria 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 oh asas claveria i'm not sure wala i Nasha. haven't asked my mother dagan lobby dito Yeah. Was <laughs> <laughs> dagan yeah. salay. Oh, dagan salay lobe. Dagan salay. Ayan. Oh. Mm-hmm. Go wonder ko ba when you choose your thesis, your design project, uh, sa kadaghan nga mga produkto nga pwede ninyo siya i-convert into a some into a product, why coconut coconut oil? Uh, actually our initial our initial decision to that is actually use cooking oil mm-hmm. bali from waste to energy. Yeah. Muta to mong initial plan but due to the time constraints and resources constraints we opt to choose the coconut oil because it's more promising it's more technologically proven nga mas better gid siya i mean compared to waste although very advantageous when the ang coconut i mean waste cooking oil kay because going to transform a waste to a useful product pero moto there's a lot of things to do for that and due to the time constraints again wala na siya nakaya So we opted to choose na lang do, the one that is proven more proven to create a more effective biodiesel product. Uh-huh. Unsa you sa biodiesel? Yeah, uh, right now ang um, the Department of Energy is highly encouraging uh, gasoline producers mm. to mix something sa ilahang like it's not 100% petrol diesel na. Yeah. But na i-add ang biodiesel nga yeah. basically ang ratio is like 5% pa lang kay slowly adapting pa man ang Philippines to this innovation. In some countries like 50-50 ang ratio so mm-hmm. for petrochemical and biodiesel but sa Philippines slowly adapting pa so 5% pa for now but there's ongoing plan nga increase na siya. And yeah, this one the addition of biodiesel basically improves the characteristics of the this product nga magamit siya sa mga sakyanan and engines and all that and at the same time this initiative will make the dependence on the fossil fuel and those non-renewable energy sources nga malessen siya mm. okay at least and yeah to some point 
there are ongoing studies pa nga na kining biodiesel alone lang for coming from the plant natural resources kay solely experimental pa lang siya do but ano siya if it can withstand at alone nga as a independent fuel lang pero that's ongoing studies pa further to go yeah yeah pagutan ro ka RJ uh, you are given a chance to pursue higher education what would you choose yeah uh, yeah for me i have really huge interest towards sustainable and renewable energy sources mm -hmm. mga biofuel related it could be it by diesel biogas by hydrogen those ones that are that could potentially replace the conventional diesel product nga very harmful to our environment mm -hmm. nga nga mga areas ang gusto sudlan if i were to be asked mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of uh, fuel, kay uh, ano ra ba nino kanang this is something na interesado sa siguro ang kadaghanan kay gagamit man gyud og uh, fuel every day. Have you heard of deuterium in Surigao? Uh, I haven't heard yeah. it. It's okay. Wala mo na imo. That dili <laughs> kay yeah. So, deuterium. Pero kan mana uh, ang iya is kanang bio bio. Mm, yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Biofuel. Ang iya is dili siya sa fo, uh, fossil fuel, mm -hmm. di ba? Yes. Kay para kani siya kanang new breed ba? Climate change. Uh -huh. Oo, kani sila they 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 care for the uh, environment. Do no? you think the country is already ready for uh, biofuel na mga kwan, products? Uh, ongoing initiatives pa lang for the DOE. Um, there's like a little disadvantage of the biodiesel. The process, the process of making it is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. So I think if the government would uh, work on that, so they really have to allocate a budget on improving yeah. the process, the ongoing process of producing this type of uh, fuel para maka-adapt kita fully on this matter. Pero yeah, on the good side, yun, yun nga sinabi ko kanina yung the 5% that would be higher in maybe next years from now. Do you think government should uh, allocate more for research and development? Yeah, oo. oo. Um, in this way, basically we we have we will have further advancements in our areas of literature nga didan ta murag mag-focus lang sa mga traditional Cause, dapat iagi ni siya research. Cause there's really a lot of benefits to this. You know, embracing new technologies that could really improve the lives of our people. RJ, yeah. kining kining sa kwan ba mga uh, new technologies, new concepts sa uh, uh, kwan no? uh, sa field. Uh, how does uh, artificial intelligence uh, play? Ano uh, ba si role niya uh, sa imong research? Katabang ba ang AI, chat GPT? Or uh, mas maayo gigapon nga you research it the traditional way? Uh, in our case, I think the AI have helped us in the way of gathering the data. Uh -huh. Yun lang siguro. Uh, analyzing the data like basically assessing uh, the the needs nga the needs of research to this sa mo ang field karon murag mo lang na nga aspect na help ang ai to us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah siguro ano din uh, mga simulation mga software karon nga ginagamit basically i've i've read some na they are they are adapting this ai program to to uh, to make it fast like paghimog mga process through computers mm -mm. and like pero I, I haven't yet touched on that pero mo no ba na karon uh, mas uh, dako na kay gitabang ang ai sa uh, research and uh, new technologies yeah. yes sir i would agree on that kasi karon uh, basically yeah, mas mapadali gid sa AI ang atong technology right now basically. Uh, moto in terms of making 
sama lang ang part in terms siguro of mm-hmm. making or designing process like asa sa mga sa mga process ang buhaton ani mm-hmm. so the ai could recommend the ai could do that part to us na and we're just going to analyze na lang whether this is more beneficial mm-hmm. or hindi gano sir ikaw gyud pud mag decide finally yeah. kung yes sir doable ba or doable dili or, is, no? or economically ano so, okay sa inyong classroom uh also by gaisulti sa inyong teacher about ai uh does your teacher encourage you to avail of uh, ai or uh he doesn't uh they do not yet uh sama sa xu we stick to the traditional path of now uh-huh. yung kami gid mag gather data mag research on our own and to to us lang some um if we want to make it more faster we can use the ai di masuko yung teacher ana well uh, wala, wala man said so far issue sir for uh-huh. the AI, the use of ai as long as dili siya like dili dili ra totally mag depend on that like yeah, the effort yeah. japan is there yeah, yeah kay kung ang mahita mo kung dependent ka na sa ai mo rag spoon fed yeah. ka na ang learning uh, yes. medyo yeah. mabaw di ba yes sir oo yes, so lahi gyud pag uh, sila gyud ang uh, oh, oh, yes, ikaw gyud ang nagtuon and then yeah. sang, ikaw gyud ang nagluto ikaw sa nag uh, tilaw yeah although of course uh, dili lang na ay mga katugha gahapon among guest sir Uh, AI ang iyang kuan na sa application and then he is able to come up with uh, paintings mm. paintings pero siya mismo uh, iya lang ga i uh, i connect no sa sa te- sa app iya lang tagag instruction pero pero sa skill siya mismo i acknowledge siya nga he doesn't know how to paint pero mo lagi uh, karon appeal na sa mga exhibits mayo kasi ato kaya na himo siya painter because of his uh, ability to use uh, AI. AI so yeah it's a skill nag innovate nag evolve nag yeah. insad ang skills karon kay naan na may uh, assist from artificial intelligence oh pero oh, sa, yeah. sa imo RJ uh, dili ka gyud dependent gyapon sa AI Yes, sir. Uh, avail ka sa tool sa AI pero yeah. to to enhance or I don't know to yeah. to make it faster pero ibalok ka sa basics of yes. what you're doing. That's the most important. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. How much time do you spend for studying? Yeah, uh, I really don't have any social life. I don't go to parties. Nah, no social life, no mm. parties. <laughs> oh. No no girlfriends. Like as much uh, as I have the time. Kayo. Na lagi. Dali gyud ako mag chemistry man. Kita <laughs> 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 Yeah. Pero like yeah, daily. So if like nasa eskwelahan, I usually go to the library to mm-hmm. review. And if sa balay, mupud to. I'm very much serious so. Pero karon human naman. Yeah, I can finally do whatever. <laughs> so uh, kun dili na nay mong character as a student na murag di kita magtapuan na ni. Lagi ko ang gitya, dedicated gitya. Did she really expect na mag-top mag tap nature ka? Or uh, appeal ba gitya sa imuhang ambition na dapat tap nature ko? Well, uh, it was one of my, ano, well, this dream nga maka-appeal sa top 10, but it was really not my goal. Kasi kanina, I said, my ultimate goal was to take the board exam once. And as the result uh, as as what attorney oka said earlier yung chemical engineering is the hardest course engineering course and mm-hmm. i would somehow agree to that because really students enrolling in this course are very much intelligent smart and competitive so <laughs> in my case i probably underestimated myself so but okay because i did not expect to become part of the top 10 because i know a lot of people from up diliman the lsu who are really smart in in this field Oh, yeah, imo lang i eh, padiado ka lang. Yeah. Padiado ka lang pero Pasidong na una niya nga. Pagaindahag, indahag <laughs> nga ba, top 
Uy, ako niya ito sa RJ, dito sa Manila. Huwag sila kay Balong Elementary. Ako, sinilas lang ko. Lumbadagan. Akong akong tangtangon akong sinilas para di maputol. No? Pero, kung ka na, pag-abot ko dito sa kuan, Real McCoy, wa naman ang Abilidad na magina, sel. Abilidad na magina. Pero, lagi, munang ipangutan ako siya ganina, unsa pa yung mga uh, advanced studies that he would want to pursue. And, uh, di yan yung makita ang iyang kuansan. Uh, uh, unsa iyang buhaton is direct, uh, related ang iyang plano. So, oh. Wala pa yung girlfriend, RJ. Yeah. Aw na, na? Wala. Mag, ang sagan ito, mag-post-grad studies pa ka? Yeah, I have plans, pero not next year or what, pero maybe five to ten years from now. Kini siya, madiscover ni siya sa mga dagko ng mga kumpanya, pa-eskwila na ni siya, Sen. Mag-PhD na ni. Na ba yung PhD? Yes. Na. Ah, okay. Na pa yung mga, kanang, kanang, asa man siya, let's say, sa uh, sa oil industry. Oil industry Ipadala siya. Ipadala pa siya sa gawas. Uh, Netherlands, ha? Di ba? Hmm. Kwa po ang kanya. Saudi. So, Saudi. Oh, oh, ha? Saudi. Or mga petroleum. Petroleum. Oh, petrol, oh. Oh, petroleum. Oil producing oh, countries. Oil producing. Mm-hmm. Yan. Lain na yung mga landay pagbalik. Sik na, sik na. Sik RJ. Uy, dito, basin lagi na siya gamitin siya for research and development dito. Lagi, sa lagi. Sa mga oil producing countries. My God. Bil, bil, kuhan kayo na, bilyonaryo, bilyonaryo lagi. lagi na. Pagkahuman kayo. Oo. Nadi na ang kwarta sa Oo. oil. Lagi. Pila mong kaigsoon, RJ? Matika. Uh, dalawa lang po. Dua. Ikaw ang yes. magulang? Or? Eldest po. My sister is in grade 11 right now. Ah... Uh, Bright siya din sister? Um, I'm not sure, pero I think she's an, she's average. Uh, 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 Ayan. Ang, ang imong ko, ang, uh, ang nambatak, uh, di hagin na sa indahag, ang imong papa, di hagin siya na yeah. puyo? Yes po. Bale, I was born there like for about 22 years. Sa indahagin ko na puyo. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And uh, ang how did your parents meet? Uh, uh, Marites lang ko, RJ. <laughs> okay, yung, yung mama, gikan sa lay o claveria. Pero emo papa came from where? Uh, ang ilang family lang kay sa Bohol, but uh, Murag Dave transferred here in Cagayan de Oro. Uh-uh. And Morento sa Indahag da uh, My father was actually ex-politician, barangay official siya, like from 1997 to 2013. Murag, throughout his service, murag, dito niya na ilang mother. Because my, the, the family of ah. my mother was from Salay, then as what I remember, kay, there was like conflict daw ongoing in those, uh, like mga 90s daw dito. So mm. mga, you know, yeah. mga war, Insurgency small war. Uh, insurgency. Oh, yeah. oh, so mm-hmm. they forced to transfer sa City of uh, And uh, City of uh, is part of Barangay Intag. And, yeah. Yeah. That's that's how they met. Ah, so you're you're in the Taguanao part, or ah, City Lumboy. Ah, City Lumboy. Lumboy. Yeah. Ah, Lumboy. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Ah, uh, kagawa de imu papa niya to yes. sa Indahag. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ang ng batak ka kung ilak, kasi lamang niri ng batak sa. Lagi na ay kagawa ng batak niya pero ulap na siya. And my auntie po sir si. Ah. My auntie si kagawa pa. Pero ang auntie. Ah! Si Ipay? Yeah. Si Ipay? Yes, Ay, pastila. Ay, mong auntie si Ipay. Pag <laughs> umang kundi ka ni Ipay. Pag hindi naman kita nag ilang. Unsa ba di ay? Okay. Yeah. Hi to kagawad Ipay. May buntag. Aming hapon. Yeah. Um, de, igsoon sila. Igsoon sa iyong papa. The baliang husband. Igsoon sa papa. Ah! ah okay, okay. Oo, oo, oo. So, Kay misis ng batak naman si Ipay. Oh, ayun. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Ayan. 
Sa so, uh, BS chem, uh, di, 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 chemical engineering man also. So, sa chemical engineering, dagan ay estudyante or gamayra compared to other courses? Uh, rag, sa Excel lang ang population kay more on civil gud siya. Ang chem and chem rag, usually top, top three lang siya sa mga top three or four, six man ang engineering dira sa XU. It's not, ang civil gud ang pinaka-dominant pinaka in terms of population. Uh, civil and then mechanical. Mechanical, then chemical. And then then. electrical. Yeah, yeah. Yes, ang chemical engineering lagi, ang, sa ako, ah, recollection ako sa 60s, early 70s, uh, chemical engineering ang pinaka-disod. You have to be heavy sa mathematics and then chemistry. Mm. Ngano lang ka nag chem sir nga may magkay ka sa math? Ay, Ikaw, si ba si attorney? Ay, <laughs> ay, ay forgot. <laughs> Nalimutan niyo nga mo. Ibugibugoy mo ko, di mo ko pa rin ni RJ. Buutan mo si RJ. Oh, siya kayo like we have. Uh, RJ na maintain niya yung scholarship. Mm. Ako, scholar ko sa akong parents. Wala ko na ko maintain. <laughs> Ito, no? Yeah, so, ko po ang iyan ko. Pero po, yeah. grabe siya din ang sakripisyo, Hazel, di li sa tiyaw. And then, nag, nahuman siya, magna cum laude. Magna cum laude. Wow. Uh, uh, Latin honors, good. So, did you, kana, pagsunod din mo sa Xavier, kay, kung ano ba siya, valediktorian sa high school. Of course, uh, na a scholarship grant that uh, he enjoyed no first year. Pero, siyempre, na amang kay uh, uh, dapat i-maintain nga grade niya, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, kali sa Diyos, na-maintain ni mo, RJ. Yes, sir. From first year. From first year, na-maintain niya. Was it, yeah, uh, how, how difficult was it? Yeah, uh, I would describe my chemical engineering journey very challenging to me. I actually, I basically is a senior high, diba? we have this program. If you are going to pursue engineering program, you would really pick the STEM strand, STEM, science, uh -huh. technology, engineering, uh -huh. mathematics. And I was like, I, sa Indag National High School, I graduated under the general academic strand. Basically, this strand is basically intended for, I know, for like general academics lang, or basically for people nga, di pa, Medyo decided what to pursue in college. Uh. So, like in first year, I literally started from zero. I, my foundations in chemistry, physics, very low. I had to go bridging class uh. sa before ko naka first year. Because again, uh, that was the policy of the College of Engineering at XU. If you are not from STEM, you have to, und you have to take up the bridging yeah. class yeah. before ka maka-apply. I maka enroll to that. So I really started from that and moto, I was really lucky to have yeah. a supportive environment sa Koa. There I've met a lot of friends, very supportive sa Koa. And yeah, that part Murag uh, motivated me so much to do my best. Mm -hmm. uh, moto, from the 2019 per semester, yeah. I got, I, I was awarded a uh, Dean's List. So moto, yeah. nagtuloy-tuloy din siya sir, kaloy yeah. sa ginoo, like I dreamed bigger nga ma maintain not just my scholarship and perhaps maka award for latin honor. yeah you did it the hard way yeah and uh, grateful siya sa iyang mga seniors kay na ay mentoring sa ila that's why si RJ also did his mentoring sa iyang mga juniors uh, is that correct no yes sir katudlo ka sa Grabe, naamoy frat siguro dia or uh, samahan lang yun? Oh, it's actually a program for uh, like sa mga engineering body dira sa XU. Oh, uh, na yung mga body body. Oh. To give, uh, to offer mentoring programs and moto, I've applied to work on there. So, to help students uh, in their chemistry or calculus class. Yeah. yeah calculus. Wala, wala ka nag-teacher <laughs> sa diha? Ah, uh, the uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the part I, for now, I would prefer it for the industry experience. Pero if part-time experience lang, siguro, I oh, would accept. Oh. Advice yeah. ni mo for students nga, uh, like kaganina, you were saying, you were still undecided when you entered college. Naganing mm -hmm. ana undecided yeah. pa kung sa ilang kuhaon. So, uh, unsay mahatag ni mo na advice for them? Yeah. Uh, if you guys are in very much interested in engineering, 
if you have probably enrolled yourself in STEM, I would highly encourage you to consider chemical engineering because again, this one is pretty much unique. Uh, if you know, like only 36, 37 universities in the Philippines offer this program. So in terms of job security, mga job, ano, uh, yeah. job competition is not that intense compared siguro, to the other courses because ano, very, very, daghan man siya. But Mone, if you really want guys nga ma enhance yung skills in chemistry, in mathematics, I would really recommend you guys to try this one. I've yeah. started from literally zero. I don't really have that strong foundation back then. If I did it, why not can't you na mabuhat po na ninyo in, if you applied for Chem Eng and if you have passion for it? Galing. Yeah. Now, okay, gabinturing man siya. Now, atong experiment, RJ. Tagaan uh, takag mission. Tudloan ni mo si Maricel Magad. Uh, how would you Ah, arithmetic yun. Oh, arithmetic yun. How, how would you How would you uh, begin? You are teaching a 50-year-old. Nga <laughs> 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 magano, mag unsa ni mag-add. Di kwarbi lang mathematics sel. Okay, ang kwansa dia, sa mga estudyante, importante sa nga dili ka mag-absent. Pero na sa algebra, di ba, yes, RJ? Kay, ug mag, sa, sa math, algebra, kung mag-absent ka, lisod na, lisod na magkuhan. Hindi ka na kaapas. Munang, kung yun na, uh, uh, is that true, RJ? Na, kung yun, you, you learn it step by step. Yeah. Walay shortcut. Walay shortcut. Oh. Dapat. Okay. If you in college, if you miss like this, uh, like mga lectures sa professors, uh -oh. murag, you miss half of your life. <laughs> so you have to study that para maka catch up ka. And moto, the, the learning process, especially sa Chem Eng, is step by step. Didigi ka maka ing maka ambak derecho. You have to build your foundation sa basics until you finally reach that part nga. Mag design na process, that just like what we did, mag design ng mga planta and all that things. Yeah. Wow, ka-design ka na og kuan no? Unsa na ang mga processing? Yeah. Aside from coconut oil, what interests you pa nga product, nga, nga raw material? Um, ano, uh, basic, uh, siguro ano, like the production of battery, mga lithium-ion battery, nga more capable of storing large amounts that, that's basically one of the ongoing developments for the areas of study sa Chem Eng. So, production of mga lithium-ion battery. Sir, gawin mo siyang battery. Sige, lobat din ni... Sir, gawin mo siyang battery. Din isa, sige, lobat. Kana siguro yung technology makatabang na kay para i-charge ba? Di ba ito, sir, maka-amaze na yung kanyang how they think, bitaw, lagi, no? Lagi, lagi. Uh, an anong ang takbo ng utak mo na ba? Uh -oh. Ala, nag na siya yung battery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lagi, that's, lagi. that's nice. That's amazing, no? Kanang, uh, kada rin maminaw sa ila. Yeah, yeah. Pero kini lagi ang akong kuhan sa iya is, uh, uh, kay, Kuan gi siya sila, ngayon priority nga niya na giyo din is Cagayan or Misami Solital. It doesn't want to begin with a strange environment. Sa chemical engineering, apil ba ang food technology? Stayag. Oh, stayag. Pwede kayong stayag niya. Ano man na, coal-fired power plant, so... Pwede kayo, di ba? Pero ganahan siya mga bioenergy. Biofuel siya. Basta energy. Energy. Food technology, appeal ba siya sa Kemeng? Normally, food technology is another discipline. Pero the food industry itself is part of the scope of the Kemeng. Food and beverage industry. Kanang buhat ng suka. Yeah. Kanang suka sa banana. Okay, sir. Oo, oo. Nakadungog ka na ng lakatan gi mo suka, RJ. Oh, actually, si ma'am, ano. She showed it to me. Eh, nalikta ko naman dahil napakita. Why, that's an innovation, ha? Pero food tech, sa USTP, ang ilaha sa Binays, 
bachelor of science kira po ng food tech. Yes. Pero ang ilaha is basically on food lang, food. no? So, inyo ha, kay ang scope ninyo is um, all in compassing man pagsulod sa planta. Yes po. Kanasuka, yeah. ang isulti ni Maricel RJ is Lakatan. Lakatan. Source from Lakatan. Pero kung pwede ang Lakatan, question is, pwede sa ang bululan? Ay, bulo ko ba ang yung bululan? <laughs> bululan ka ng green ba? Green na saging. Saka ah, kung sample sa bululan. <laughs> Bupa rin ang bululan sa ang green? Bululan lagi ng... Ah. Na kung sample dia sa kuan? Sample do. Sampol nga. Nagkita ko, sir. Ayan, yan ang green. Nakabalor ka. Kanang green, oo. Oh. Oh, kanang green. Ay, dagan, dagan, sa salay. Mm. Oh, wala pa siya na yung makato sa salay. Mm. Dagan, balikasag. In fact, kay, it's a four months banana sell, actually. Yes. Kanang bululan. Kaya lakatan mahal man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Pwede na, sir. Yeah. Sa agriculture, kay naas sila, kung sa ganilang lang ginadevelop nga para biofuel, Naa sila'y ginadevelop, nakalimot ko. Ng mga vermiculture. Mga anak. Pero it's not, gagamitan nila for biofuel. Gag, yeah, uh, oh. Night term nila ato, nagkabantay ko sa ilahang. Nang raglutuanan nila ba? Katong, atong ikuan dito sa pagatpat. Itong, uh, kuan, itong waste uh, RJ. Okay. Na mahimong, mahimong ulod. Mahimong ulod. Waste siya, mahimong ulod. Ito, Pero ang ulod siya. Mahimong siya fertilizer. Oo. Oh. Yeah, ano na to sa nila? Kanang innovations na sa nila. You know, this is really very interesting no, to find people nga kanang uh, ang dagan sa ila ang aguna-guna sa Wala ba? may artificial sa ila cell. Nature hmm. maganda. Pero ang ila is, uh, ang process ba, they, they, they define the process and uh, they make the product uh, good, more attuned, more... more and uh, they okay. add value sa product, yeah, no? Yeah. Mo na siya ang Bapo, ang ini ng chemical engineering basta sunod ang ang generally ang engineering uh, systems di ba RJ mo na kanon process uh, process niya gisulti sila ang design ana unsay natural resource sa Mindanao nga tan-aw nimo nga maayo siya i-develop into uh, into something more productive oh, and useful ah uh, yeah for me the agricultural waste because there has been ongoing research to that like for example mga sa like in a pineapple plantation those mm -hmm. those mga waste from agricultural waste yeah. can actually be formed into a biofuel such as bioethanol yeah. kining bioethanol yeah, again bio this one is energy source gyapon siya and yeah we have actually gone through that with among design project in third year yeah, kanang yeah. transforming this mga agricultural waste because yata making making something useful aning mga agricultural waste nga normally ginalabay lang sa landfill niya na. So, yeah. I think that's one of the interesting avenues for sa diri sa Mindanao. La Lain sa itong farm na itong kaila, itong sa kan kakanando, kakanando, dito sa Manolo. Yeah, organic po ang iya, ang waste is uh, gagamiton niya, RJ, uh, para sa uh, iya rasang farm, no? Iya rasang farm. And uh, uh, generally, the philosophy niya is walay waste yeah. nga, nga mabilin, walay waste nga unattended to. Unang limpio kay iyang farm. Yeah. What about ang quality sa mga laboratories uh, in, in terms of equipment and technology? Like in Mindanao, uh, naamoy mga nahuna-hunaan, nga gwapo ni siya, nga buhaton, nga project, but uh, do you have that? enough support in terms of technology? Yeah. Uh, in my experience working sa DOST, sa, sa Region 10, sa Carmen, uh, they are actually supporting mga initiatives like that and mga like mga innovations, motto at uh, one of that, katang mag-create of something new nga product, mm -hmm. especially uh, motto, isa gyan po na silang initiatives kanang transforming waste into something useful. And I've personally joined like mga program yan sa DOST, the Innovation Week, last, last 2021 sa, sa SM Uptown. And basically, lots of product good nga support sa DOST, mga innovations nga. And in my, ano, in my thinking, kay, I think the, the support from the DOST was really instrumental in making those innovations possible. Yeah. Would say, 
is uh, talking about Mindanao resources. Uh, Unsay product pwede ma develop from seawater? Yeah, oh, uh, I really don't think, but uh, basically, sa mga drinking or potable water, good sir, from the seawater. There's a specific process to that. Bale, mm -hmm. from seawater, imon siyang something to be drinkable. Mm -hmm. Ngan for now, ako ni Boad to make it drinkable, make it available supply for everyone yeah, as a drinking yeah. water. I see, I see. So, kung gyo drugar, kanindo taning ilang gubatan is naagyoy use ang tanang butang, no, yes, uh, RJ? Uh, yes, po. Wala gi waste. Wow. Now, koan, uh, ang nahabay sa engineering sub? Yes, sir. Uh, no. Ang inyo, anong sa mo is uh, Bachelor of Science na, di ba? Yes, sir. Chemical Engineering. And then, ang Masteral Course, ano? Yeah, Masters in Chemical Engineering, sir. Uh, and then, doctor doctorate na yun. Doctorate Asa mo na, uh, kung mag-eskwila o doctorate sa Chemical Engineering, na ba na din eh, or? Uh, yes. Uh, the, I think the XU offers Masteral. But if you would want to apply for scholarship nga sponsored by the DOST, they have like predetermined universities nga asa lang ka pwede mag-apply. I know for some case sa uh, MSU IIT, University of San Carlos, UP Diliman, De La Salle University, those uh, few universities pwede maka-apply for postgraduate opportunities for chemical engineering. So eventually diha ka mo enroll ka sa diha. Yes. Sir, eventually. If, if if I wanted to be sponsored or earn scholarship. Yeah, yeah. And then, kung assuming uh, RJ, nag master's degree ka na, uh, sponsored ka sa DOST, doctorate degree, uh, again, sponsored sa DOST, what would you then uh, do pagka humanana? Yeah, uh, I think to become part of the research and development initiatives uh -huh. of the DOST National. Uh, because okay. I know, like uh, among professors, they've earned their master's and uh, PhD, and now they are part of the Murag, the Research national group. initiative on, of the DOST. Moto. Some of those areas, katong renewable and sustainable energy resources, yun, environment, yeah. any environmental management. You know. Go po sa, so, ag-invest uh, sa day ang gobyerno niya, which is yes, good. Okay, yeah. yes. kung ano tayo, research and development Research and development. Sila. And so, Rod, pwede ka na din ipirate sa mga dagko ng kumpanya international, di ba? Yes, sir. So, maling Diyos, tuwa ka na sa Saudi, tuwa ka na sa Netherlands. Ayaw kalipti yung mong mga parinti sa kaan, sa lay, o sa klaveria. O sa ina. And also, yeah. Na, may sa siguro ka tong uh, something that will serve also the country. A uh, humanity, gira yeah. niya. Oo. Humanity siya. Ang kuhan. Wong nakaroon climate change. Mm -hmm. And, uh, di ba, kanaganing, kung saan ay oil curse. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Kung saan may imong understanding anong oil curse. Oil curse. I, what is Ang oil is a curse. Okay, kung ano sa climate change, etc. No? Uh, if not, alternative like kato ang ginginam, like biofuel, bio embracing biofuel. Oh. Perhaps we can embrace katong mga solar powered yeah, nah. technologies. Oh, oh. Those are pretty much renewable compared to that. So I think that's a best alternative, one of the best alternatives to the oil issue. Eh, oil. Yeah, yeah. Pero mas mahal no ang technology sa biofuel and bioenergy. Mm, pero I believe if the government would really allocate enough research money and yeah. all those resources, I think we can improve on that process and eventually yeah. we can our the price for that will be lessened and more effective budya. Yeah. Kano economically competitive. Yeah, ang kano ka mugastos ka pero na save masan ni mo ang future. Yes. yes. So, munang economic ka uh, kwa ni RJ. Well, uh, solar powered na karoon. It's, it's good to hear ng mga uh, uh, 
kung ano kaya mga sina sina RJ mga future makers and the world makers and the sila sel no good to hear from them nga na sila ko ano importante sa ila ang protection sa environment ayo ayo yeah nang tapod nang advocacy no para sa mga kabataan unan kay the millennials now and the Gen Zs they are more focused on information technology no kana bang Uh, they're more into AI, uh, digitalization, etc. So, pero naapagihapon tong sector dapat na maguna huna sa pag-preserve sa future. Yeah. yeah. Pero yeah. pipila, listen sa good kaayo po, kay gamay, la, yeah. <laughs> okay lang, okay lang. At least na, uh, kung man ni sila, mga opinion makers sa ni sila dayon na uh, mga trendsetters na ni sila ugma uh, panahon. And government should put more premium on this group of young professionals. RJ, marami, adagatag mga siguro itong mga batanon ba or parents nga who may find interest in this episode, no? Istoryahan na ito ang immune journey. Unsay advice that you can give sa mga those who are younger than you, no? Na pa sa high school. Uh, or sa ilang mga parents uh, in regard sa ilang pagiya sa ilang mga anak no unsa advice kay mo ikahatag sa ila yeah um, to all the listeners karon and the viewers na mga kabatanunan and the parents it's themselves i would re re really recommend you guys to uh, explore more on the science and technology siguro in college because in this area we focus more not just on the innovation but as what we've said earlier the environmental preservation and thinking about the future and one of the best avenue for this is the chemical engineering um, we have lots of things for our country we can propose mga bio mga environmentally friendly product alternatives sa mga conventional products na itong ginagamit ron. And this way, we can do something on our part in our environment and our nation. Uh, just have to uh, become more uh, uh, become more interested in this journey, chemical engineering degree program. I would really recommend you guys to try this one. Because again, we are like that, we, we don't just see the future we, we are actually doing something for the future through many innovation science and technology innovations yeah. so, yes yeah turning yeah journey karon salamat kayo rj ah look at i i thought nga atong istoryahan siya lang iyang pag eskwela and how did he Lan di to sa top ten sa chemical engineering and chemical technician, no. Pero it went further than that, no. Sa ako, ako ng take away ani sel ko ano. Very comforting, reassuring that you have people like RJ igagamaw ng batak, no. Koan na concerned good kayo sa environment and of course he sees in the future unsa ang ibuhaton para preserve nato o protektahan ng atong kinaiyahan, especially with this climate change and all the challenges that confront us, no mga abuses dito sa mga dagkong mga nasod. In regards to the nagitawag ng mga hazardous emissions, no. So, salamat kayo, salamat kayo. Kung ang kini RJ, like I said, very comforting and reassuring that the world is better. The world is better. Thank you, thank you, RJ. Good luck sa imo, ha. Good luck ug sa pamilya. Thank you. Thank you very much, Attorney, and of course, RJ, for joining us this afternoon. I'm sure dagan sa natunan na mga kabataan from RJ. And uh, good luck, and uh, dagan salamat maayong hapon kanin yung tunan.